This I Transfuse podcast is based on fact sheets you can find at transfusion.com.au, the Australian Red Cross Blood Service website for health professionals. What are ABO blood groups? Our red blood cells, like all cells, are covered in different proteins and sugars called antigens. Sugar antigens can also be known as carbohydrate antigens. What we refer to as A and B are different sugars on the surface of the red cells. O cells don't have either antigen. If A and B antigens are sugars, is it possible to change your blood type by changing your diet? Even though A and B antigens are sugars, you cannot change your blood type by eating different foods. The type of sugar on your red cells is genetically determined and has nothing to do with your diet. Can you be more than one type of group? By having one type of sugar, for example the A sugar, your blood type is A. If you have the B sugar, your blood type is B. It is, however, possible to have both A and B sugars. This makes your blood type AB. O blood types do not have either of the sugars. To better understand why this is important, we need to first have an understanding of what antibodies and antigens are. OK, so what are antigens? Antigens are proteins and carbohydrates which our immune system can recognise. Any antigen which is foreign to our immune system is destroyed by an antibody. What are antibodies? Antibodies are attack molecules that our system makes to protect itself from foreign invaders such as bacteria and viruses. The anti-A and anti-B antibodies are said to be naturally occurring and form after birth in response to bacteria in the gut. How does this apply to the ABO blood grouping system? Every single person has antibodies against any missing antigen. If you have B antigens, so you have blood type B, you will have antibodies in your system that will destroy any A type cells. As a result, if you gave A type blood to a patient whose blood type is B, the patient's anti-A antibodies will attack these cells. When this occurs, the patient could have a severe or even fatal reaction. So getting the blood type correct is really important. What is a universal blood donor then? A universal donor is someone whose blood group is O negative. O negative blood groups do not have A or B antigens, but do have antibodies to A and B. These antibodies are only found in the plasma portion of our blood. We can safely give the O negative red cells to anyone. The term universal donor really means universal red cell donor, as only the red cells are safe for everyone to receive. The plasma from group O donors has both anti-A and anti-B and should only be given to group O patients. The fact sheets and podcasts are designed to provide basic information to people without training in health or science. They are not intended to be medical or professional advice. The disclaimer on transfusion.com.au applies to this podcast. For more information or to view the fact sheets, log on to transfusion.com.au. To become a blood donor, log on to donateblood.com.au.